Hey, well, it's the 4th of July. We're out here enjoying ourselves. What are you up to? Oh, nothing. Nothing? What do you have there? Um, a gun. A gun? Just a gun? Do you know anything about that gun? A musket. Cool, pretty much. Yeah? What kind of musket? Oh, come on. Oh, come on. Okay, well, it's a 50 caliber musket. And uh, basically, I built this gun years ago. And it's kind of fun to shoot every once in a while. A nice black powder gun. It was just a kit, and I always wanted to build one of these guns. It's pretty cool. It makes a big bang. It's a lot of fun. So here, babe. Okay. Why don't you uh, show how this all goes? Okay. Basically, what we're starting with... Take the ramrod out. Now. Uh, let me get a patch before I even mess with this. I keep them buried inside here. Maybe I'll take the one that's underneath the top one, so it's a little bit more lubricated. You want a good slippery patch. That'll hold your ball. In case you're wondering, the helmet is my grandmother's helmet. She did serve World War II to help with first aid stuff. And it's a real cool helmet to have. So we're celebrating all our ancestors today. Okay, first thing we want to do... Nothing about the vest? Uh, the vest I have no <laughs> idea. It just kind of fit with the holiday season. And, you know, I never get to wear the vest. So we pulled it out of the closet. I'm like, woohoo, we can wear the vest. It fit with Make the sure holiday the season. <laughs> That's right. Always keep the barrel away from you, no matter what. The powder I weighed it out, 0.1 of an ounce is what I need for powder. Pour all that powder down in there, as long as you know that the barrel's clean. We already knew the barrel was clear. Okay. Mm. You're going to need your balls. We make our own balls around here. Take a... Uh, all our old lead weights and stuff, and stuff from battery terminals. Why are you laughing? This isn't really that funny. <laughs> Apparently it's funny. Okay, I guess because we make our own balls. But, um, we melt them down and we press them. <laughs> yep, and we press our balls, and we end up mashing them out of the lead. Get quite a few of them. It was like 20 bucks to buy the mold, as opposed to a whole lot of dollars to buy just a few musket balls. It's tricky. I don't want to touch this gun on the ground. And I don't want to get into this mess here. These haven't been opened in a while and they're covered in some kind of oil. I forget what I even oiled them with. But yeah, these lived a life previously as something else. Most likely a battery terminal because I use a lot of those. So, okay, you want to take and wrap your ball with one of these patches. Keep everything well lubricated, and you put that in the top. Then, take this fancy little guy, and you start with that end, put it like that, and give it a tap. And it's always very tight. You can see if you look, never look directly on there, it's just inside there, as deep as that goes. Then you flip it over and you use that end. Again, I'm kind of on my shoe so I don't mess up the bottom of the gun. I like this gun. And you drive it in that far. Now you're done with that guy. Now you can take this fancy thing. Now these guys, in 1776, we're doing this three times a minute. Jamming the powder in, shoving all this stuff in, and going. While being shot at, mind you. And you have to get this in there okay now if this is sticking out too far further than that line that tells you there's another bullet in there if you load it twice and you shoot it you'll probably blow the gun up pack it in there nice and good tight always put this back into here because you'll lose it and forget about it now the next thing you want to do it's not that it's definitely not that You want to open your percussion caps, take a little one of these percussion caps, fit it on there. Okay, at this point, this gun is ready to go. I'm actually going to set that down, just so it can't go off. Okay, now it's safe, even though, you know, if you hit it hard enough, it could go off. Either way, always point the barrel away from you, never near anybody. Could be pointed down, may even be more safe than pointed up, but at least away from somebody. Okay. Now, I'll 
trade you. Okay. I'll take this. You take the. Mm -hmm. You take those fancy things, young lady. Okay, babe. Okay, now what we have here is a magical TV. I'm saving this a little while. It's plugged in and it's turned on. I don't know. It doesn't seem to want to do much other than that. It did work though. Okay. You ready for this? Hold on, hold on. All right, look at me now. Are you ready for this? What? Okay, good. Now you hold this. Have you ever shot one of these before? No. No, okay. Well, you don't have I'm to- going first? You don't have to take the earmuff off to answer. You just have to take the earmuff off to hear. <laughs> Is that like turning the radio down to make a left turn? Okay, don't laugh too hard because you have a loaded weapon and it's very dangerous. Yeah? <laughs> I'm glad this is funny. Okay, well this is what's going to protect our homestead if we need it. <laughs> Me? Yes. Yeah. Well, yeah. Okay, now, go ahead and point at what you're going to shoot at. So far it's not going to go off because it's not cocked. I just want you to get comfortable holding the gun. Hold it tight to your shoulder. You must be tight to your shoulder with this. Noop, 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 noop. Hold it like a normal gun. You, come on, you've shot before. Get your hand by the trigger where you're going to get comfortable with what you're going to do. Triggers are up here. Now it's not loaded yet. Well, it's loaded. It's just not cocked yet. You comfortable? Yeah. Okay. Oh, now, this has the double trigger. Well, it's not going to go off because this is set. As okay. soon as this arm goes down, it's going to go off. When I pull this back, I, I, I think it, hold first. on, hold on, hold on. Hold the gun because I think I, okay. You aim it and if you hit the trigger now, it's going to go off. So get ready how you were. I'm trying to hold my ears because this is going to be loud. Okay. Hey, Faith, are you ready? Okay. Go ahead and pay attention. Point the gun where you want. Which one do I pull first? Uh, try the front one first, but have that stock tight to your shoulder no matter what. And stand. Hold on, don't pull anything yet. Don't put your hand there. Stand really well and solid. And count it down when you're going to do it, too. What happened? I'm nervous. Okay, good. I can't really see the camera too well because I'm holding my ears. It's what, tricky. What, what? What is the kickback? Oh, it's mild. It's only a 50 caliber. Just make sure it's really tight to your shoulder. Is it like a 22? Yeah. But you got to have it really tight to your shoulder. Is that for real or like Brian's terms? Oh, it's for real. You always have every gun tight to your shoulder. So it's not like a 22? No. Slightly more. Point at the thing. Count it down and you're gonna do it. One, two, oh my god, I'm seriously nervous. Come on, there's ten. <laughs> the buildup is killing me. <laughs> okay, and it's okay with the TV right there? So oh, yeah, aim right for the middle of the TV. Oh man, oh man. Nervous. Good. I want you to go first. Nope. No, I want you nope. to go first. Nope. You okay. have to go first. Hurry up. Come on. You gotta go. No, I know you can edit. No, it's not that. The gunpowder. It's black powder. You only have so much time. Stand correctly. Hold it tight to your shoulder. Nope, 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 nope. nope. You have to do no, it. No, I yeah. want you to go first. Nope, I'm no way. It, I want you to go first. Nope, no way. One. Hold it tight. Two. Right there. 
Right at the TV. What? Right at the TV. Yeah, right at the TV. Come on, you're never going to get a better target than that. It seems so close. You can step back a foot. Go ahead and step back a few feet. I just don't want you to miss. He's going to shoot from the other side of the puddle. There you go. Just keep pointing that direction. There you go. My shoulder. Hold it tight. Come on. Babe, you're killing me. We're trying to focus I know, on I'm this. So... I can't. I'm going blind trying to watch this. I hold know, my I ears. Really want you to go first. No, I know you do, but it's not going to happen because then it's not going to be any entertainment. You have to shoot because you don't know what it's going to do, and it's a cool gun, and it's an old gun, so go for yeah, it. But it's going to be. Well, it's not going to hurt as long as you hold it tight to your shoulder. It cut all of this out. Okay. Because I don't want it to look like a whip. Gotcha. Just hold on. Now i got to get my ears ready. All right, go ahead. Nothing's going to ricochet back at me? No, no, no. It's a lead bullet and it's going to mush into whatever. You're fine. There's nothing there. It's all wood. It's all going to absorb whatever you shoot into. Trust me. You're fine. Have you seen the shit you do? Oh, I know the shit that I do. Now let's go. What, do you like that? I don't like that I didn't get the center. <laughs> so what'd you think of that gun? Load it up. Load it up, huh? Let's see what you did. Well, at least you I hit it. I did good. Yeah, but I didn't do... No. Yeah, you hit the damn thing. That's a good thing. No, that's not good. It's supposed to be in the center. Yeah, well, you know. Oh, look at that hole. It's kind of cool. It's tinging. That's thick glass. I'm going to guess that it came blasting right out the back of the TV. What? You're kidding me. That TV absorbed the whole bullet? There is no mark out of the back of that TV. That's crazy to think that. I mean, that's a 50 caliber bullet. I made a heck of a... It's still... It's still... A... That thing's tinging away. Reload it. Like I said, that's a half inch diameter bullet that made that hole. And to think that that thing stopped and didn't go through everything else, well, that's cool. We're going to have to shoot this thing again. So, uh, what are your thoughts? What do you think of that gun? Yeah, I like it. It's pretty neat. Does it give you a little kick? No. No, it wasn't bad? No. It was fun. That's cool. That was fun. But reload it because I want to hit the center of the TV. All right, well. I hope you like that. I hope you like. I hope you subscribe and uh, yeah. go out and do some dumb stuff on the Fourth of July. No, they have to hit, see me hit the center. Okay, since she had so much fun shooting it the first time, she's going again here. Hang on a sec. All right, whenever you're ready. Am I counting down? Whatever you want. One, two, three. Oh, it didn't go. Do I try the second one? Whatever. Think go. <laughs> Woo! Got it that time. Yeah. Is that better? That's much better. Much better? Yeah. <laughs> now I'm good. Now I can go eat steak. <laughs> Nothing like a little black powder. Wow, I wonder if that went all the way through. <laughs> That's impressive, because two shots through this thing, and there is still not a dent in the back of this plastic. Granted, we blew the whole front out of the TV, so the glass is definitely taking the hit. The TV's still plugged in. I wonder if it comes on. Nothing happens. Pretty darn cool. I can't believe that didn't go through that. But again, that's some seriously thick glass. Oh, that's fun. That's a lot of fun. <laughs>